What's going on? It's your boy Jay Black, AK Black Man, URLTV.tv. Um, we here born legacy for another one. Mike P versus Chef Trez, what happened? Even though I was in the building, gave my uh, initial analysis. I will admit it looks a little closer on camp. It does. Um, but do I feel different? We're gonna find it out in a minute. And I also want to talk about the young cannon versus Mike P. Mike P declining it. That seems to be hot in the media right now, so we're going to speak on that briefly. Also, Mike P versus JC, upcoming match, Born Legacy 5. I will be in the building. That's coming up. Um, briefly going to speak on that because I already gave my winner on that, who I think is going to win. Now, Mike P versus Chef Trez, round one. What happened? I thought Mike P was solid entering the match, and then uh, two thirds of the way into it, the man starts heating up. The Crescent Moon know how to close a round out. Turn the Mike J White with a roundhouse, I deck a goon, Crescent Moon. You don't even know how to close a round out, but as soon as I found out, the bars, the he's back to back. Midway through that, he's back to back, and I felt the super saying. I mean, people saying they're getting tired of Goku lines, shit like that. Like, well, I say this, I say this about um, reusing the same source material for for a line that's been used for over a year. You know, what I mean, you got to think Arsenal, Goku, Dragon Balls, you Dragon Balls, and I think said in the Fight Club or some shit like that. So it's it's a decade later, and niggas still doing Dragon Balls. So niggas still saying Goku, Gohan. You know what I mean? As long as you can do it creatively. I don't have a problem with that. As long as it sounds different or it sounds somewhat up to date, I have no problem with that. And I felt the spirit bomb bar was the dope. I was fucking with it. I was fucking with it. Then a cat's bar. It, it's funny. It shows you how much the crowd pay attention to the bloggers. You mentioned Cap's name. Wow. You mentioned Jay Black name. And we love that. You know what I mean? Just mention us. It's, it's always dope to be in a building and receive that. You feel me? Um, but I J Black, we can get it shaking in front of the cam. I'm tired of handouts. Mac 10, Mac 10. The J Black, then the strap, the, the, the clap. I'm I'm strapped in. Excuse me. I'll clap you with a coma. That flip. You had a problem with that? I felt like I can do this in an entirely different blog. You know what I mean? Talking about John John and Don versus Mike P and he flipping stuff. That's a whole other blog. I spoke about it five years ago. But I'll do a different blog on it, but I'm not that mad at it, the way Mike P's doing it here. You know what I mean? I'm not that mad at it. So I have Mike P having a solid first, a very solid first. A great first, actually, not even solid, a great first from Mike P. Dope. Going into Chef Trash now. So we here with Mr. Three of them thanks. Mr. Three of them thanks. Freestyle rebuttal. One of the hot new freestyle rebuttal niggas in Chef Trash. And I felt like... What he did was dope. You had to be in the building to completely understand the haymaker that he landed in the first, like, what, 20, 30 seconds? You know what I mean? Uh, New Jersey Turk was supposed to battle Gouizi first. And that was supposed to be the first match since Brooklyn Carter and Franchise didn't happen. Gouizi versus Turk supposed to be the first match. So as they're going up to the stage, Turk falls. Or he falls through. It's, it's funny. You got to be in the building to like, understand that part when you get into the stage. I almost fell, too. You know, I almost fell a few times going up and back that stage, so... I can see how he fell, but anywho, Chef Trez freestyles about that, and the building goes crazy. I went crazy. Everybody went crazy. You know what I mean? The wrong stare. Literally, the wrong stare get you dropped on stage. Thought that was fire. Well, I mean, don't, don't none of y'all niggas pop those Ks. I'm strapped in. It's like twerk. The wrong stare get you dropped on stage. <laughs> But outside of that, the three of them things, the rebuttals, I felt his round, just like I did in the initial recap, wasn't as fire as Mike P's first. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty close, but I felt Mike P had just a little bit more. I love the fact that he brought back the Egyptian dance, and then he had the, 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 uh, the flips. I appreciate some of the Mike P flips, you know? Mike, it, you know what I mean? Metal behind Mike, like in the award speech, you know what you know what I mean? I thought that was dope. I thought a lot of them was cute, you know what I mean? The back page, I was fucking with that too. I still give the first to Mike P though. You know what I mean? I felt Mike P was more consistent. 
I felt like the rebuttal from Chef Tress made it closer than it actually is. Uh, that's that's an attribute right there. That's definitely an attribute. I gave Mike P the first round. No. Now in the second round for Mike P, let's be honest. I think the consensus. I love saying stuff like this because, you know, what I mean, the, for some reason, I think the second round is the deciding round of the battle. So if you had Chef Trez. In the second, you have him winning the battle. If you have Mike P in the second, you have him winning the battle. Because I don't think the third was that close. I mean, the second round is close, but it's certain things from Mike P, from Chef Trez, to make him maybe have him a little bit more. You know what I mean? Um, first of all, I think Mike P's impersonation of Peanut, live 215, 10 toes to fuck them, Pussy was spot on. It was scary. That's that's I understand a lot of a lot of stuff was said in the battle, but that's my favorite line. The fact that he dig deep and brought that line back, you know what I mean? Because you got to think Peanut Live said that was it uh, almost a year ago, or even more than that. You know what I mean? So I actually love that moment. Blew his hair red like Lil Yachty. Tim's close him up now. I stop your head till your Peanut Live on the street. I'm ten toes the fuck down. Pussy. Pussy. Yeah. Listen, I'm ten toes the fuck down, I nigga. Fuck, I ain't going no fucking way, nigga. You gotta set nigga, the fuck off, nigga, I'm dog. a big bad motherfucking wolf. Ooh, the fuck off, dog. Ooh, pussy. You got it. Fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I don't want no problem. I thought this was sweet. That was going crazy in the building. Um, and I felt like in the first, with the first minute, when Mike P did, I felt like Mike P's a smart battle rapper based on this. When he said, "You wish you did." He said, you said this, but you wish you did. He had, my, he had, you know, Chef Tread a little tight right there for a quick second, millisecond. And I appreciated that, you know what I mean? So Mike P had a solid second round, but Chef Trez now. Um, we can't play games with this one. We can't. I felt like opening in with the, with the Mark Henry. Throat shot, Mark Henry. He'll dread missing his neck or different approach. Wrestling, how peanut not say? Wrestling bars do not get old. You know what I mean? Wrestling bars, you can say a, a, a Shawn Michaels Sweet Chin music bar and it's going to be hot. You can say a Goldberg like k Shine versus Averb and it's going to be hot. That's just how it goes. So if I was one of you niggas, I would always write a wrestling bar. Because we're going to connect as a crowd to that. No matter what, that's universal. You know what I mean? That's universal. So keep writing those bars. <clears throat> Oh yeah, the, the dream catcher bar from Mike P. Fire. Back to Chef Trez though. Now, people seem to have a problem with Chef Trez flipping uh, you know, um Mike P's speed flow against daylight. You order light, but the watch is too bright on that light order. Take the lights off you. I'm dark of the night crawler. Say good night, partner. I'm cutting your life shorter. Get your brains pushed back. You can't see the gun? Try harder, cause the faux fo still in reach like my father. All you fuck. I, I felt like the way he did, that's kind of hard to do. It's not you're not you're not flipping a simple punchline. You 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 flipping an entire flow. And then you ending it the way he ended it. It reversed what Mike P did, you know what I mean? He went, he did stereotype versus stereotype. As a black man, you know it's your father is not supposed to be in your life. So he's saying the foe, foe still in reach like my father. That's creative. That, that's creative, man. I felt like that earned that entire setup, earned major points. You know what I mean? Again, you're not flipping one line. You're not flipping uh, uh, um, strap dinner. You're not flipping one line. You're flipping an entire... I gave, my, I, gave, I gave Chef Shred's points for that. In this bar, you niggas don't play Pokemon like that. Stop lying. You know what I mean? It's not, stop lying. Stop lying. This bar to me was fire. This, this bar to me was very creative. The Cyndaquil. You wasn't ready for day. He proves you was a whack writer. Y'all remember Pokemon? Well, it's crazy. You wanted URL to Cyndaquil, but your plan backfired. But niggas. You know what I mean? The Cyndaquil, daylight is quill. But it backfired. Send a quill. It's fine. That was hard. I gave Chef Trez the second round. Now I'm pretty much just to save you some time on my bullshit. You know what I mean? I don't even like listen the whole time. I got you. Cool, 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 cool. Straight to the point. I gave Mike, uh, Chef, sorry, Chef Trez the battle. You know what I mean? Rounds two and three. Again, I gave this analysis in my initial in the building recap, and it's the same here today. Even though it's a little closer. You know what I mean? I felt like Chef Trez in the third. 
he kind of he kind of strayed away from the punch to punch. You're not listening. You're not necessarily categorizing Chef Trez as a punch to punch no more. He's in, this battle, and this is one of his biggest battles, proved he's an overall battle rapper. You know what I mean? I'm looking for him to rebuttals now. I'm looking for him to punch a punch. I'm looking for him to flow. I'm looking for him to give us a story now. As opposed to just bar, 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 bar. You know what I mean? But Mike P's already been that, so I'm not, I'm not trying to take away from Mike P. Mike P has already been an overall battle rapper. So we know that. But Chef Tress, he kind of separated himself with this one. And I really appreciated that. So going into the JC match, I'm not considered a, a bar, a bar, a bar, 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 barking shit, you know what I mean, between the two. I'm looking for Chef Trez to give us a, a multitude of things, you feel me? I felt the pat down, him. I enjoyed Chef Trez's third a lot more, and I felt, Mike P was creative with the, you know, putting the baby to sleep, pa pa. thought that was funny, cute, but I felt Chef Trez's third round was more impactful. Give the battle of Chef Tress rounds two and three. All right, let's talk about it now. Young Cannon versus Mike P. How do I feel about it? And again, this is not going with the popular opinion. The popular opinion is Mike P, shut up and take Young Cannon now. Shut up. You know what I mean? Um, I feel different about that, honestly. Again, I'm not forcing any battler to take a battle that they don't want to take. If you want to take that person, take that person. Let's push that. But if a person don't want to take that person, you can't force him. Let me put it this way. Ever since I started talking about the paper analogy, you know what I mean? The teacher gives you three papers to write. He says, I'm forcing you to write on these two topics. Write on these two topics and get an A. But the third, the third option is write a paper of your choosing. Write a paper that you want to write. Which is going to be the best paper? The third paper. The, the paper that says... Do whatever you feel like doing. Attack whoever you want to attack. And this has happened in school. For, I mean, probably for you too. You know what I mean? The best paper that I, I've ever written is a paper that I, was, that I wasn't told, that I had no restrictions on. You know what I mean? And again, certain names, they light fire to your pen. You know what I mean? Certain names, not even certain people that you, you know what I mean, that you had back and forth encounters with, probably light fire to your pen. So I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? So I don't think I don't think Mike P should take it if you don't want to take it. The same thing for Disaster and Sharon, I said. You know what I mean? I think it'll be a nice I think Mike P and um um and Young King would be a good match. Dope. But if he don't want to take it, you gonna, you wonder why he, he half assed it or he's not giving a full effort. I don't want, you know what I mean, the, the match to be booked and this and then he's Mike P's like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really care. I, you know, I can't even you know Math Half versus show up, I can't even write for this guy, you know what I mean? I don't can't take him serious. I don't want that. I want full motivation. I want full effort. You know what I mean? That's my take on it, though. That's my take on it, you know, but I think. And Mike P's being smart. He's talking about known. You know what I mean? He wants to propel his career. He wants to do... He's holding out to get the best possible look. And you can't get mad at a person for that, honestly. Just being real. You got to look at both sides of the coin. You know what I mean? I feel like, for the most part, in battle rap, it's just do it, do it. Somebody call you out, do it, do it, do it, do it. Fight, fight, battle, battle. <laughs> Shut up, battle. You know what I mean? Uh, this is business moves. You got to understand, like, people get three battles, if that, a year. This might, Mike P might get, what, two battles and that's it? If I'm in that position, if I'm getting two battles in a year, I'm going to make sure my, my next battle is going to be something prominent. You know what I mean? Or, like he said, he said he'll take Young Cannon on a prominent uh, uh, gnome. You can't get mad at him for that. I'm not getting mad at him for that. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So I think it'd be big for Mike P to get on them. You see what I'm saying? So I think I think that'd be dope. That's my take on that situation. I know it may sound a way, but I'm just being realistic. I'm, I'm telling you how I feel from a from a um because again I keep talking about not being stagnant. You know what I mean? I'm talking about elevation to elevate everything. So that's from an elevation standpoint, that's how I feel. Chef Trez versus uh JC coming up, born legacy five. I think it's going to be dope. I think it's going to be dope. But again, I have JC21 going into this match because when you bring back an old vet, an old vet like JC to that stage, on top of him being actually nice, it's going to be a problem for you. It's going to be, you're not getting that first round. You're No way you're not getting that first round. And what happens if he makes you go first? You're, you're not getting that first round. It's going to be hard. You better come with some of the best material of your life to take that first round from JC. And he's been going for a period of time. I'm just being real. First round you had against Mike P definitely won't cut it. 
So I, I do more in the second and third. You know what I mean? Because they're they going to they gonna love him. They're going to love, they love JC, man. They love JC. Even in the comments. Call, J, call JC a certain name. Watch them in the comments like, fuck you. I'm telling you, love JC. You know what I mean? But that's my take. It's your motherfucking boy, J Black. AK Black, man. Salute. I want to shake my hand. Black. Bitch. Just pointing out my advantages. Dancing with your dreams. I focus the beam. Anakin. Steady as a mannequin. Standing stiff as the planet spin. Camping in. Out of your mind. Woke in the ambulance. Did his best in there with a champion. Shit.